This finals, A Coward versus Aaron. Aaron coming hot off a win against Ape Man, last week's winner. Of course, A Coward stepping up to the plate as the latest in the Robin mains this week. Yes, uh, he's the new <laughs> MSM Robin main. Yeah, he's, sub main. He's, he's subbing in for Angel, subbing in for Jewel, subbing in for uh, Grandmaster Man. He's coming in MSM, but nonetheless, comes in with this arc fire catch of the day into this back end of 54%. That's an excellent play here. That side B is so good. <laughs> it just lasts so long. <laughs> I'll try to call that out with the forward but unfortunately you have to remember Rob's aerials, specifically where they start and their lasting hitbox can be a difficult thing to challenge at times. Depending on yeah. characters. Yeah, Aaron still has to be careful though with the, uh, how he chooses to do jump in nares, because Robin can actually call that out and punish exactly. really heavily. Not the best deal on that four smash. Ooh, oh, okay. missed grab. Yeah, very risky though. Ooh, got oh, got the shield poke. Oh, no. And I wonder if Coward knows he can angle it too. Always remember, guys, you can angle your shields to try to avoid the shield pokes at times. But nonetheless, he gets that up smash and he gets the stock here. Shield versus a uh, multi hit moves like that, very, very important. Yep, important Especially because, game. like, so many moves like poke shield very easily in this game. Uh, exactly. so, like, people need to get really uh, used to angling shield to avoid that situation. And I'm glad they made it easier. All you have to do is hold that shield button and the special button, and you can easily angle it. Or two yeah, shield you buttons. Won't, yeah, you won't jump out of shield or anything. Exactly. Oh, not the best trade for Aaron here. Oh, nice. Yeah, he's very good at just like pressuring the shield with that arc fire. Oh, smash? Or yes. Arc thunder. Oh, wow. Even Rob's dead at that percent. It was a lot of percent too with a nicely charged up smash. Almost kind of fresh at that point. But Aaron responds in kind. He's looking for that quick up at, at the 105. Okay, Coward's got to be careful how he comes back. Excellent opportunity right. to kind of come in hot with double forward air. Just because Aaron was low-key trying to set up that back air. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that was an easy 27% too. But Aaron opportunity here with the gyro setups. Is he dead? He's dead. Oh my, he wasn't even close to living. Dang. <laughs> disgusting. Disgusting, disgusting Rob combo. Disgusting That's like the one indeed. thing you need to avoid at zero. <laughs> like, you just like, is he have the gyro in his hand? Is he doing there? All right, I, let me let me just get out of here <laughs> before I before I die at zero. <laughs> and the coward was in such a huge lead, man. He had literally proven up to Aaron that he's the one who's going to dictate the pace of this match. And Aaron gets that gyro at the ledge, and it's pretty much all of the roles reversed. Damn. He wasn't even close to leading that side B2. Like, he actually just exploded. Yeah, that was rough. That was rough. That's what I... That's like the... That's like the... Uh, <laughs> that's like the wobbling of this game, dude. That is the wobbling of this game. This game, this <laughs> game uh, low-key has like quite a few wobbles, quote unquote. <laughs> yeah, Luigi and, and Rob are one of them. People, and sometimes actually ice climbers. Exactly. Like people feared ice climbers for years and years and years, but when other characters have a wobbling, that's where it's worse. But uh, I do like this call here from Angel Gozen. If Eren can win with Rob drunk, then Epic Gabe is hard carried. Sharp 2020. I do like this quote. Is there in <laughs> Chuck right now? I wonder if he is, man. But even if he wasn't, that's still a good quote there coming out from Sharp. <laughs> well, Aaron's Rob is very good. I think he's actually beaten um, Ape Man with Rob, too. This is who he considers like his main alongside Diddy Kong. And I think he's been using mainly Rob in this, this tournament in general. So, Not like a random pick from uh, Aaron by any means. Not random at all. Even his nest, man, definitely proved himself. Yeah. All right, let's see. Let's see what Coward's uh, going to do here in this game. Hopefully not too shook from dying at zero because he was playing very well until he got hit by Nair Gyro 
You gotta look. See if if I were anybody, man, you gotta know that that's gonna happen to you at one point or another. A lot of Rob, if you're a Rob main, you need to know how to do that, and it might happen to you. So keeping your composure is most definitely important. Unfortunately, a little bit wonky on that opportunity where he tried to go for an empty hop and Coward got caught by the gyro. Nice down tilt tech chases down to one of the best tilts in this entire game. No kidding, man. So it's good. The, it's the best spacing tool and it trips. Oh. oh. Back your hitting below the ledge like that will like always mess That's a with crime. Me. That's a crime, man. That is a crime right there. I mean, it makes sense, but like, dude, he actually was forced to hold on ledge because of the gyro being there. It's, yeah. I like that aggressive push from Coward. He sees where Aaron is and he wanted to immediately execute. He wanted to return the favor with that stock. Excellent empty hop here, going back to the platform. Big problem is he's still in disadvantage here. Opportunity to get a grab, missed narrowly. Yeah, I like that from Aaron, knowing you can actually roll out of that setup. Archfire isn't as good as um, the Thunder at keeping you locked in shield. Oh, oh, no. Where is he recover here? Oh, okay, goes on stage and he oh, misses the grab. grab. Even though he was right in front of him. That was actually a very unsafe recovery from Coward. But he finds a way back on stage regardless. I always forget the range of forward air when it comes below Robin. Crazy. Oh, yeah, that that uh, arc fire has a ton of lag. If you can oh. avoid it. Oh, my God. I can't believe it's alive. That was actually very good DI on the up air. He actually lived when he was in the blast zone getting hit by that move. Kind of crazy. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Almost that was gets good. down air spike to the stage. And he and avoids the up smash, too. 120 Still to 128 here. though, three stocks to two. Coward needs something to play with here. Finally gets okay. the forward air, counting on him being in the middle platform. Yeah, finally punishing that roll, but still very, very tough comeback to make. Aaron's not really having that many openings to get hit by these combos from uh, Robin. So arm rotor, not enough, but... Excellent DI from Coward. Yeah, okay. It's a really good aerial string here. Tech chase, ooh, there's the Thoron. All right. Trying to the ledge, catch yep. the jump. Ooh, into the Ooh. back air. What super, a super good setup. Yeah, very, very good. That's what I'm saying, man. You have to keep your composure. You know when you can make those comebacks. You gotta. If you're the one who's training as a character, especially a character specialist, you know that composure is key. Boys, the snipe. Avoiding everything, really. <laughs> Honestly. He's got to. This man is living at 183. I haven't seen a, Ra uh, a Robin main live this long here. But nonetheless, that down smash oh. is narrowly missing. And unfortunately, the oh. is there to catch him off the stage. Yeah. They're still going to get that trade. So uh, I don't think Coward's too mad about that. Okay. I like it. Doesn't try to go for a grab. He knows it's a little too late on that one. Sends the Arc Thunder out, and he gets the roll on that one. Uh-oh. Watch out. <laughs> He's almost... He always Got put in a very, very bad spot off stage. Ah, tough call on the arc fire. You can see, always remember, arc fire has some cooldowns, so you can definitely punish it. It's a lot mm -hmm. of commitment from Robin, but unfortunately, oh, beautiful that's punish. commitment. Beautiful punish. That looks the best thing you could have done after Aaron missed that side B off stage like that. It has so much in lag. Exactly. Very, very, very good stuff from Coward. Trust in your skills, man. Trust in your skills. And definitely Coward demonstrates that he has trust in his skills. Able to make that comeback from such a stock deficit and able to just read the Rob, the... God, I lost my words here. Able to read the side view from Rob and get the down air. Finally, a Coward able to make that comeback. 1-1 one, one a piece here in Winner's Finals. Yeah, that was, that was a super good comeback from, uh, from Coward. Even at the end there, uh, Aaron was just applying so much pressure off stage as well. He was putting Coward in a very, very bad spot. But let's see. Going 1-1 one, one here. Yeah, Aaron has both, you know, the stage counter pick and the potential character swap too if he's feeling up to it. Oh, and there it is. 
Aaron Kong has made an appearance in the winners' finals here on game three. Yeah, see like how I this said, goes. Trust in your skills, man. We know where Aaron got to where he was, and that Diddy Kong is one of those characters that definitely puts his name out there when it comes to some of the best Diddy means around. Mm -hmm. For sure. Aaron is uh, for sure one of the best Diddy players in general. Uh, even when people didn't think this character was that great, he's uh, was always using this character. I have bias against but, this character, but I have to admit, I even like watching Tweak play Diddy. Yeah. I like all the Diddy mains, honestly. They all have their own style with the character. But uh, this matchup's going to be a little bit more difficult than Rob, in my opinion. Just because killing isn't going to be as easy. And uh, you can't go as crazy off stage either on uh, Robin's recovery. Yes. But we'll see Ooh, how this goes. Nice monkey, monkey flip, flip going yeah, going through everything. Oh, and the banana with the uh, extra damage too. Z drop oh. setting up for the downer. This man is making plays. Yeah, he went for a very, very crazy play, but uh, almost actually got hit out of his recovery and potentially dying at 50%. Oh. Okay, Coward with control of the banana here still. Trying to find a trip. Nope, doesn't mm. get it. Yeah, not going to die, but uh, a lot of people get very greedy when they have the banana. It's kind of like giving Diddy free punishes, like throwing it on his shield like that. Exactly. Excellent nope, opportunity. No trip. Yep, so no trip. trip. Okay. Arc Pry at the ledge might be coming here soon. Oh, I, no, no, no punish. I respect the attempt Oh, man, there. that shield damage was crazy, but there's another up smash. I respect I frame, the attempt. Frame six? Frame six? Yeah, frame Diddy six. has the yeah, fastest up smash out of the shield. Oh, that drop through up air. Caught him slipping. No extra credit for Aaron. So they're going right back to even game already. Oh, double Ooh. up air? Big Ooh, damage. Ooh, that was good. And too, he got control he... of the banana too. Yeah, and he tried he tried to read the fact that Aaron might try to retreat a little bit towards the ledge. And sound of that Arc Thunder missed it narrowly here, but I like this empty how to kind of pressure him with a little bit of the neutral air. He's fighting for center stage again. Yeah. Uh, Coward's playing around the banana very intelligently here. Aaron can't find an easy trip because he uh, definitely wants these like low percent combos. But uh, Oh, okay. There's a falling there. Always got to be scared of that move. Especially at the ledge. Nair down air. Very scary tool that Diddy has to get early kills. Most definitely. A uh, bit of a technical error there on that L win, but... This gives Aaron the opportunity to go for the hard flip. No, sorry, the soft flip here and get the command grab. Aaron? Fire setup. Ooh. Narrowly missing almost. here. The trip. Yeah, Aaron is desperately trying to get this uh, Z drop there, but oh my the god. Shield. Actually, I think Aaron. No, I think Aaron dropped shield because he didn't want to get shield broken. Ooh. But it doesn't even matter because he's getting sniped off stage, man. Getting sniped indeed. That was good too because at that point, you either might as well take the damage rather than the shield break and potentially lose the entire stock. Aaron tried to go for it all with the near down air, but wasn't guaranteed at that percent. Okay. Up the ledge here. Yeah, Coward's playing very nice. safe. Yeah, making good, it good really hard to game. approach. Yep. Getting a little take damage from the projectiles as well. Nice catch on the platform Ooh. though. And there's the hoo-ha. I haven't seen that in one in a while. But very good platform uh, pressure from Aaron to make that kill happen. Oh. Oh, Good man. Wasn't able to continue that string as much as he wanted to, but... Nice. Oh, that, wow. That, what a down smash. Actually catching a, him in the air. That was a good change up, too. Bigger than I thought. Yeah, because he saw Aaron, the fact he was going to cross him up. So he yeah. changed it up. Mm -hmm. Up throw in the fair. It's easy percent. Nice, jumping over that arc fire again. The move has tons of lag if you can avoid it. Almost a free punish on the Robin if you're close enough. Yeah, and I did like the fact that Coward actually went for a cross up there. I would have loved oh. if he held the stage just a little bit more instead of the arc fire. But nonetheless, here we're at the situation here. 90 to 85, Coward fighting for an opportunity with one of those arrows, but he can't find any situation here. Excellent opportunity to just hold the shield because that forward smash would have caused There's it. another opportunity, though. And it comes out of here. Yep. Out of here indeed. Coward moves up 2 1 up against. Sorry, Aaron moves up 2 1 up against Coward with the Diddy Kong. Yeah, yeah. Very, very, very good stuff getting that second trip. Honestly, uh, man, really unfortunate for Coward that he didn't get out of the corner 
after Aaron whiffed that first forward smash. He definitely got really greedy going for that one. But uh, yeah, Coward just stayed in the corner, put his back to Diddy Kong, and allowed him to get a second opportunity with the banana forward smash there. Yep. Uh, Still very, very close, though. Shadow Clone one up asked me, how can you hate on Ultimate Diddy Vance? I hate the characters in Smash 4, man. I, I hate his I hate the way he moves. I hate his silly dash attack. I hate I hate his realistic monkey sounds. I I hate the way his lips look like a duck. I don't know, man. I hate this character as a whole. Like I actually hate the character. I hate Diddy Kong. That's my bias, but like I have to admit, a lot of people have skill with the character, so I try not to let that bias show. Yeah, I don't know. He's my favorite Nintendo character, so I don't, I can't hate Diddy Kong. And I'm weird too. I did. I didn't really like Smash Four Diddy at first, though. Like the first version of Diddy was really oh, I, not I, cool. I loathe that character. I thought the character was cheap. Like, I'm sorry. That's such a noob mindset to think that. Like, such a like an uneducated uh, like fighting game player to think that way. But I honestly hated the fact that diddy kong was a one-trick pony in smash 4 and he got away with it for a good while yeah it was it was pretty whack he yeah he was whack uh, there's no way to put it i know what? it's like scrub quotes me for sure if you guys on but like i actually what? think the no character... i mean smash 4 the first version of smash 4 diddy you know yeah, where so he talk... just his upper had no lag and it killed at had like a side 40... box yeah. <laughs> had a side hitbox for no you reason could just, you could just down throw up there like five times and you for win. damage and then you could just do the same combo to kill like it, it, was, it was he was so good that you didn't even need to use other moves you didn't no, even you need didn't. to like use banana or like side B or anything he had no other meta game like until he that got nerfed then the meta game finally developed yeah it was it was not cool but anyway Actually, I, I think this version of Diddy is actually the best for me. I hate like, to he's admit the it, most but you're right. Fun. You're right. He's you're the most fun right. to use. I hate Diddy, but you're definitely right, Strides. I hard agree on that. Well, we'll hard agree on this game four here because Aaron is up on set point here. Coward with a last chance opportunity. That battle uh -oh. is going to oh, be costly. He actually gave him the perfect DI for down, down air. He could have done a down throw, down air, down air, and he probably would have died. I'm actually surprised Aaron didn't go for that. But it doesn't matter. He still didn't get touched. He's still winning neutral here. Great DI on that jab, too. Uh, I, unfortunately, Coward didn't go for the, the gentleman. I think that would have connected if he got it to work. Yeah, I agree. Oh, catches his legs, but no follow-up. This is a situation here where you're wondering how the matchup plays, right? Usually Robin will be able to trap Diddy. But in some situations in the scramble here, the reason why Aaron's able to win is just the... Sometimes it's his, not only his skill, but it's the frame data. Diddy's just much faster all around. He's able to kind of move newer in and out of Robin, especially with his tools. Look at that forward. I'm putting him in such a tough spot. Yeah. Uh, Aaron recognizes the lag of Robin's uh, projectiles too a lot of times. So he's just jumping around them. Yeah. He knows that that cooldown from Arcfire, it's a little significant here, and you can get a lot of punishes on Robin when he whiffs those. Yeah, also, if your character has a good crossover role, it's very good against Arcfire, too. I think Diddy has one of the best ones. He does, game. he does. He still has the best role. Even in Smash 4, you had the best role. Excellent catch Ooh. with the neutral air. Definitely amounting for that opportunity because you know that neutral air can set up to all the other opportunities like up air, back air. Reads the landing with the ab smash. Aaron takes the lead here, 116. Mm -hmm. Really good first stock for Aaron here. Oh, Coward actually didn't. I don't think he recognized that he had the banana in his hand. That's why he did the down throw of the banana instead of an immediate down smash because he might have gotten a shield pork or a shield break otherwise. Oh, this is such good percent right now. Yeah, Aaron's just like avoiding so many things. I don't know if he, Aaron knows this e at two, but he can also just straight up crouch under uh, Arc Thunder, maybe even Thorin as well. I think I think it's funny. Seen, yeah. Yeah, Diddy has a low profile, and he has a he has a crouch walk as well. Yeah, really good pressure right now from Aaron. Just doing 
really good job using his movement just get right in robin's face uh, yeah. robin outside the gentleman just doesn't have the greatest boxing options that's why you constantly see coward is trying to create space between him and aaron yeah even if he's going for small isle thunders small little uh small little opportunities even with thoron at ranges or oh. fires here and there but oh. unfortunately the crash from the barrels and that sends aaron to lose the stock arrow 106 to two. yeah i think aaron actually was he didn't want to commit to the full uh, rocket barrel so he held down because i think he didn't want to get hit i would i would have just taken the hit honestly it's better than sd <laughs> okay let's see if coward can uh, use that sd to the fullest Take advantage of this lead he has right here. Yeah, you usually see Coward. He knows Robin's jab isn't that great. So you see him going, like you said, right, for a little bit of these projectiles, but he's also looking for just small aerials here and there. Because he knows that's a lot of commitment oh. from the jab. Aaron with the landing catch here. Well, I'm smashing it again. Man. One Coward. Piece. He had the stock lead, but... Aaron just didn't let him do anything, really. He didn't give him any room so to set up at all. Yeah, he played it so perfectly. Diddy has the tools to do that, too. He has the speed. He has the banana. He has the side B. That's, the, that's what makes it so hard for Robin in the matchup. Robin doesn't if he have... Jumped, uh, if he jumped after hitting... If he jumped after Diddy back in there, he was going to get spiked so bad. <laughs> yeah. Hard monkey flip right. here. I like that. Try to potentially read the roll or the out of shield option. Oh. Excellent cross up and great play with the banana as well. Yeah, Aaron's moving right now is in insanely good. And that pressure too. Banana toss the forward air, especially with Coward at the ledge. Oh, he caught the back roll with the monkey flip. Coward can't get, can't seem to get much started in neutral right now. It's hard. Another it's... monkey flip. You yeah, have to get, I you think have to Aaron's to Aaron. speed is just overwhelming him right now. Almost gets the shield poke. Okay. That's what he needs. Really huge string here. Catches the monkey flip. He's beating Robin oh. by catching Robin at Robin's greatest weakness. It is the entire run speed of the character. <laughs> oh, he got oh. the trip, but no follow up. Beautiful parry though. Coward is fighting for his life. Oh, no Back poke, throw? but there's the throw. Okay. Excellent, he excellent. Just get him off the stage. Get oh. him off the stage. Almost a bad trade for Aaron. Oh, he caught the banana. Yeah, he's gonna throw it really early. But gets the shield plug up smash. Not enough to kill. Oh, oh catches the anti arrow smash. Reads his drift backwards. And he seals that game. Almost the hugest comeback from Coward. But Aaron not faltering there. Very, very, very good stuff.